As Chris Hicks with UT Extension in Smith County. We are here at Basel Greenhouses in Carthage, Tennessee. I want to talk just briefly about greenhouse production and uh, those that may be thinking about building a greenhouse, maybe give you some tips and some advantages and disadvantages and maybe some things to keep in mind for a greenhouse. So the advantages of, of a greenhouse are pretty obvious that you can control the environment. So we look around this greenhouse and we can control the humidity, we can control the temperature, we can control uh, when plants get watered. So basically we've got a lot of control in the greenhouse which is the primary advantage of that structure. And also for those in a home gardening situation, growing your own transplants uh, can be very satisfying as a home gardener, but also may lead to a better product. Uh, you will probably get better transplants that you grow yourself as opposed to going to maybe a chain store and, and getting those plants that maybe have been picked over. So if you are looking at building a greenhouse, there are some things to keep in mind. Uh, first of all, site selection is gonna be extremely important. You want good drainage. You don't want water coming into the greenhouse. You wanna make sure you have full sun because plants need typically full sun when they're growing. So if you can orient your greenhouse north and south, so they have full sun, that's gonna be advantageous. You also wanna think about water and having a water source close by because these plants are obviously gonna need water. Uh, whether you use uh, automatic waters or you, you hand water, you're gonna need a good water source. Uh, ventilation is gonna be really important. Uh, we don't want too much humidity, you want fans that are hopefully controlled by a thermostat so they automatically kick on when the temperature of the greenhouse gets to a certain point and you want fans that are strong enough to change the air uh, really uh, in about a minute so you want to be able to move all that air old air out bring fresh air in and keep the humidity at the proper level because too much humidity you can really get diseases which is one of the i guess the downsides of a greenhouse we can really get specific insects can be a problem and also diseases can be a problem. Uh, the other thing I might mention uh, that's, that's nice about this greenhouse, they've actually got a little bit of storage uh, that they, they build. And if you can have that in your mind when you're building a greenhouse, you are gonna have potting soil you're gonna need to store. You're gonna have maybe chemicals and fertilizer that you're gonna wanna store. So having a, a room or some kind of structure in the facility where you can store those materials is going to be advantageous. Your local extension office has publications available. We have plans for building greenhouses and also information on how to operate a greenhouse. Uh, so we can print that for you at, at the local extension office or you can visit our website smith.tennessee.edu and look up and more information about greenhouses, building them, as well as managing them. Thanks for being with us today.